And welcome back. Hour number two. Glad you're along this evening. I'm Jeff Rentz. Charlie Smith joins us this hour. Charles R. Smith has one of the most interesting sites on the Internet, softwar.net. Charlie, are you there? Absolutely. Welcome back. Thanks for being here. Uh, No problem. But we've got something very unusual going on, and there may be a technological aspect to this. I don't know what it is, but it is. I got onto it a couple of days ago. I've been pushing the information out there at their website so people can see it and make up their own minds. And I've also sent a number of these out to people who have been responding and writing some very interesting ideas that they have as to what these things, we don't know what they are, but best called sounds. They've been described as eerie, uh, chilling, scary, frightening. Uh, They're weird. And if you haven't heard any of these yet, go to rents.com, look at the top of headlines, they're right there. And then there's a featured story box in the center, down a little ways, and I've got about 10 more. They're coming in from all around the world, all kinds of different people. Uh, Could they all be hoaxed? I doubt it, doubt it very much. Could they? Yes, but it's very unlikely. These are all very random people doing uh, recording with their cameras or their digital cell phones with audio capability and video capability. So uh, it's it's very interesting stuff. You know, these are not just sounds. These are big sounds, big. And they come seemingly from above and down. No one sees anything. No one can pinpoint a location. There are videos of people on the 20th floor of an apartment building or a, a condominium building in downtown cities all around the world. There are videos from people in their backyard, in their homes, uh, Costa Rica, uh, in the in Ukraine, in Canada. It goes just everywhere. In Borneo, uh, these things are being heard, these sounds. They are similar but different, and they are overwhelming in their impact. I got to tell you the truth. They kind of gave me the creeps. And what I'll do, Charlie, is play a couple of examples, and then we'll, we'll talk about what, what this, this could be, and it could be almost anything. In fact, it could be anything. Now, the first one I'll play is made by, I guess, five or six foresters in Alberta, Canada, in January, just a, a few days ago on the 13th, and they're in a, a snowy forest doing whatever they do, and they all have their orange helmets and their orange vests on, and they're out there dressed up. It's cold, but they're out there. And these noises start to happen. This video is almost to a million views already, so it's gone crazy. And there are many others that are equally as weird. But I can guarantee you that these guys, I can't say all of them, but I'm sure some of them were a little scared when they're out in the forest. And and this is what... The, what they heard. Uh, turn your speakers out, folks. Now, that's the group in Canada, and the one guy said it's very big. These are enormous sounds, apparently coming down from a very wide perspective uh, overhead. Uh, pretty weird, Charlie. It's that most unusual. 
it certainly doesn't sound like any sonic boom or um, correct. You know, some sort of aircraft manifestation. Right. That, that has um, a much more, uh, I guess, in a way, to me, it, it kind of sounds like that is being artificially produced. Right. But it doesn't sound like anything that I'm really familiar with. No, I can, there's no template that fits for me either. Uh, no aircraft that I know of. The sound and the, the guy with the camera was panning it up at the top of the trees and all around. And these guys were looking up. Uh, they were, I, I guarantee you that was something that they'll never forget. Now, here is another one. This is from Eastern Europe. I'm not quite sure which one this is, I think. Let me see if I can identify the location for you just for the record. Um, I think this is from the Czech Republic. Okay, this is taken by someone in an apartment building. It looks to be like maybe a 10-story building at the most, and there's a complex of them. Daylight, and the camera is, so is the first video we played. This is just someone with a, a camera, uh, either out a window or standing outside uh, on a patio. It looks to me like they're looking out an, an open window. So you take a listen to this one. This is, a, again, uh, these are short, uh, broad daylight, and uh, they're, they're not all the same, these sounds. Whatever they are, they're very big and they're very weird. Okay, there's another one for you. Different uh, than the first one, quite a bit. Not the same. They're all different. They're all big. The harmonics on that one were obviously uh, very deep compared to the other one, which sounded almost choral. Now, there are people really overlaying these experiences in writing or after they've seen the videos with religious interpretations, end times interpretations, extraterrestrial uh, E.T. kinds of uh, interpretations. Who knows? We do. We just don't know. I'll play another one or two, but uh, they're all up there to be listened to. And this is this is really going crazy, as they say on the net. These are weird. They're not run of the mill. They're not just electrical noises from uh, a generator. They're not the wind uh, rushing through the high voltage lines. Nothing like that. These are these are occurring often in cities, uh, as observed from high-rise buildings, and I don't know what to tell you. A little weird. A little weird. Charlie, the the atmosphere, of course, electromagnetically speaking, is being played with a lot, as as you know better than anyone. The technology being used from harp to other advanced EMF and ELF machines, and who knows what else, uh, could be doing all kinds of things to the protons and neutrons and electrons. In the atmosphere, we know certainly thunder uh, is a noise caused by electromagnetic charges in the air. So there, there are a lot of possibilities here, but it does sound very strangely formed, like someone had put this together. But this goes back to the old project 
blue beam thing, which you know about, and we've talked about this whole idea of the globalists. Uh, Ver- Werner von Braun told Carol Rosen that the bat, the what were they going to do first? I guess it was going to. He explained that there was going to be a war on terror and all that, uh, and then he said that. But the last big gambit, the Trump card, is going to be a fake ET invasion of the planet Earth to stampede the people into a one-world Illuminati government. Could this be the beginning of something like that in 2012? I don't know. A lot of people are thinking this is a sign. The Mayans were right. This is the end. Uh, Let me play one more 30-second piece, and then we'll get to Charlie, and I want to hear what he has to say about this so far. This is fascinating material. This is uh, from Budapest, Hungary. Broad daylight, hungry, in the city, blue sky. 